So once you're in Google.com, let's say you search for uh, anything. Black Friday sale. Your intent is to see how many search results are coming for Black Friday sale. Okay, how many search uh, results are coming for Black Friday sale? So, how will you create a checkpoint, output checkpoint? You have to say that whatever appears between off about and for Black Friday sale will keep changing because whatever you search here will be that. Whatever appears on off about and for, you get that value. What I will do is, I will do a simple record on this. I'll go to, I'll say on google.com. How do we go to google.com? You'll say system util dot run open internet explorer the exe file for that is iexplore.exe and say google dot give the url google dot com all right once you have opened the browser you need this object and this object you can add it to your repository or you could record on it let's do a record because i also need screenshot it is easiest for me so now I will record on any open browser. Click here and say whatever you want. Black Friday sales 2009. And I just hit enter. I had to hit search. So I will go back and click on Google search. I need that objects. Okay. I need those objects. Now this is the one I need. So first I'll take a screen dump of this page. To do that I'm going to click on images or any other link just to get that screen and close this browser. Now stop and see what comes up here. I don't need a click method. I might need a sync but before that I need this uh, web button Google search right after we enter Black Friday. So in now the name for that web edit field is Q. Browser name is Google, page is Google, Black Friday sale 2009. That is the text we used. So this is hard coded. When you click on, when you say click, you will go to the next page. And that page is a different name, Black Friday sales 2009. Browser, if on browser, if I say back, it will navigate back. You can say back, uh, forward, navigate. There are so many other methods you could do. I don't need to go back. I deleted that line is the active screen right so we wanted these test results so select the text and say right click go to insert text output once you go to insert text output now it is giving you the information that it it is able to recognize at the moment so it's saying output the text that is displayed within 10 off about and for black friday sales correct and this whole thing till sponsored it is taking sponsored is probably appearing in the next line somewhere so probably here so you don't want that to happen. Basically, we'll say this was search results. Name this differently to search results. Text before, first we will set it. Is 10 a constant number? What if there are only results 1 to 10? Is there only 5 results that came? So you don't think 10 is a constant. So I'm deleting 10. For text after, if I say for Black Friday sales and you search for a different string, then that output is also different, correct? So you're just going to say for. So very simple. Off about and for. If it appears in multiple places, then it can be an issue. So let's see if this works. If it doesn't work, then we will have to fix it. So text before, text after done. Now go to output text. Under that, go to modify. Keep it on data table. Change the name you want. Otherwise, it, it by default gives you a large name. The column name. So we'll say Google underscore search result okay global sheet say okay and okay on this now that line got generated you don't need those remaining two correct output checkpoint we've generated now what we will do is i will get that result out so i'll say g underscore result equals uh, data table dot value and the name of that what we created was Google underscore. I'm not sure. So I'll go to view and say view data table. Here, this was the column name. Google underscore search result. So message box, now G underscore result. Let's run the simple test to see if it comes up. Now, instead of the same test, I will say Black 
for I, I i will say let's say halloween something different a different search so that you'll get a different result now let's run this at this point i'm going to put a breakpoint at the line 8 so we will see how our data table reacts to it i can now go so let this test run first it will stop at line 8 so here i'll say view data table and under data table this is the one right so once this checkpoint output checkpoint is executed line 8 let's see if the value changes here click on step into go to the next step see that result has come up here now you could get it into your variable and pop that up